Alright guys, I've been a bit sick lately, so uh, pardon me if I am uh, a bit congested or sound like that. So, this video is actually a Final Cut uh, tutorial for a cool little effect that uh, I'll show you what it does. I'm not going to tell you what it does, I'll just show you what it does and it involves color correction and chroma keying. Um, it's a really nice effect and there's two ways to do it. There's one way in Final Cut Pro only and then the other way is available in both. Uh, I like the way that Final Cut Pro does it because uh, it makes it, it simple but you actually have a little bit more options when you do the uh, method I'm going to show you here uh, so what you need is basically a clip I just have something I recorded on my desk uh, right here and it's just a simple packet uh, what you want is you want to get something that has a distinct different color than everything else around it so I just chose this red cough drop packet I had lying around um, and so what you want to do now is drag that into the uh, this timeline and you're going to want to instantly basically copy V, just copy paste it, and create a duplicate and throw that in the layer above it. Um, and we're just going to disable the bottom layer at the moment. And so we have this top layer right now. So we want to, what we want to do is just key out all of that red, which is why we uh, want a distinct color from everything else. So we just want to key it out. So in order to do that, you need to throw a chroma key layer on. So go to your effects tab, go down to uh, chroma key, layer, which is in the keys under video filters, and throw that onto the top layer. Now it's instantly going to uh, key out stuff, but don't worry about that. So what you want to do is just go up to the viewer, make sure you double click your uh, top layer, go into the viewer, and then go to chroma key. Alright, so what we want to do here is actually select the uh, eyedropper tool, and just select a red on the uh, packet. And we're going to do this a few different times. You can do this by holding shift. Click the uh, eyedropper again and hold shift, and you can see a little plus sign next to your eyedropper you can click again and it's just going to expand your selection so just keep holding sh uh, shift and uh, clicking and just select multiple different shades of the same color you want and you're going to see most of your area is actually going to go black it's going to black out once you do this enough um, let's get there and it's pretty blacked out right now I'm going to do it once more like there and most of it's blacked out but it's not perfect yet uh, what you can do now is actually tweak the saturation luma and you tweak the color if you want uh, it's not always needed, but it's a nice little thing you could do. The thing I always do first, though, is turn up the softening. Soften the edges a bit. Uh, you're always going to want to soften, pretty much. Uh, and then I'll just tweak the saturation till I get it where I like it. Um, as well as the uh, Luma. Just tweak it until you get where you like it, where most of everything else is blacked out. And uh, this could be time consuming or it could be really quick depending on what you have and how distinct of a color it is compared to everything else around it. Right, so um, just keep doing this and eventually it's going to look decent. You can also, like, I'll probably need to modify the colors a second. Yeah, modifying the colors did a little bit there. Uh, you don't want to do it too much because it will start picking up other stuff, but I don't know. At the moment it seems pretty good. I'll try, I'll throw an eyedropper on it once more and see if I can get it. Oh, that didn't work. Command Z. Um, well, right now it's, it's pretty good. It's good enough for this tutorial, so I'll just keep it where it is. So now we want to actually turn on the bottom layer again. And you notice there's no difference at the moment right now. And what you want to do is go to video, video filters, color correction, and color corrector. Click and hold on this color corrector and just drop it into the bottom layer. And uh, here you just want to basically go to the color corrector tab in it. So double click it, color corrector tab. And turn down the saturation all the way off. You'll see that this will desaturate your entire clip of the uh, thing you just keyed out. Now, for this effect, we don't want that. So we're going to go back up to the top layer, back to our chroma key uh, tab, and just hit this little button right here, which is invert selection. Now, this isn't perfect, but you, as you can see, everything's desaturated, but the little Hal's cough drop packet thing right here. Uh, well, most of it is. Uh, I could do this again, see if I can get it to look right, more right. Um... But uh, for the most part, it's pretty good, actually. Okay, so let's play it now and see how this looks. Okay, so that doesn't look too bad. Um, it's not perfect, but it does the job for this tutorial. Now, here's the really cool thing. You go back to that color corrector and drop it on the top layer. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go to, up to the color corrector and we're going to go to uh, hue and you can hue it I'll do blue and let's render it again and see what happens so as you can see it made the packet blue now if you wanted to at this point 
You can go and turn off the saturation on the bottom layer. And you'll see that it just makes the uh, house packet blue. Let's render that again and see what it looks like. So it's not perfect, but it does the job. It does it pretty well. And you can do this with Final Cut Express and Final Cut Pro. Um, I'm William Bokunik. Check out my website, william.bokunik.com. See you later.